Hello, everyone, and welcome to another edition of Race Face Drive in Five here on RaceFace.tv. As always, Jacob Seelman hosting. And finally, we've got Jacob Clayton back with us. So it's the Jacob and Jacob show again. And I say finally because it has been a long, just about three months since uh, you had the the accident at Mobile that tore your primary truck up. You had one race in a backup truck there at the end of May. Um but it, it's been a long summer, I know, for you. How excited are you just to be able to get back in the seat you know and not just have one but two races coming up here at Five Flags and Mobile? Yeah, I'm definitely very excited about getting back and getting to do that double header. We uh, went and did a test session last weekend in the truck, and the truck was just about as good as it had been before the crash. And uh, we're still kind of working on the balances to get it all right. But uh, we're going to go practice this Thursday and uh, we'll do the double header at Five Flags and Mobile. So what I know, walk me a little bit through the, t the test session. No trade secrets, obviously. But uh, as you were going back through the paces again, and I know you guys tested at Mobile did you feel like you were able to get comfortable again pretty quickly? Like there wasn't really a whole lot of rust, even though you had been away for a couple months? To be honest, before I got in, I thought I was going to maybe be like a little bit off from what I was. And uh, I thought the truck may may or may not be as good as it was. And uh, it actually, I actually exceeded my own expectations there. I did pretty good for how much I had been out of the truck, I think. That, and that's what we like to hear. I think that at least should give you a little bit of confidence that, hey, we haven't gone backwards at all. We'll at least be able to go in and and, and feel pretty close to what you had um, back in May. Yeah, I would definitely agree with that. Uh, the truck was uh, pretty good to compared to what it was beforehand. And uh, like I said, we're going to kind of balance the truck out and we still need to figure a few things out. That's fair enough, and the good news is you've got that practice night Thursday at uh, at Five Flags there in Pensacola to be able to do that. Uh, and I know even with the crash, because of the way schedules lined up and all that, you've still got an opportunity for a, a really good points finish um, at Five Flags this year. How you know what excites you about being able to get back there? And and I know the competition at Five Flags really is even a step up compared to a lot of the other places there in the south. Southeast. Yeah, definitely. I would say Five Flags is one of the best, if not the best, racetracks I've ever raced at. And uh, it's pretty, the competition's pretty steep there. You got to be pretty good. And uh, I would say, I think we have a fair chance at doing pretty good this weekend. And uh, I think second place is achievable for the point standings. And uh, first is achievable, but I think it's still a reach. But uh, I think think we have a pretty fair chance of doing pretty good this weekend. I was going to say, I know you've talked about, uh, you know, not necessarily having the goal of chasing a championship at Five Flags, but I know you really want to check off that first win box before the end of this season. I know, you know, hopefully that, that that's really what you guys are shooting for. Yeah, definitely. The first one is always, you know, the first thing you want to do when you got up in a new vehicle and uh, we've yet to do that, but I haven't ran too many races yet. So looking forward to getting that very soon. I'm very fortunate that those guys let me uh, hop in that other truck in the 64 and let me continue to be in the point standings. Because if I had not had that, I probably would have fell out of the point standings and rookie of the year. What have you done, Jacob, as far as, you know, with a two-month layoff, what have you done kind of to to balance keeping your skills sharp and, and at least kind of staying up on things, even though you haven't been able to be behind the wheel? Yeah, definitely. I, I just started back school, actually, um, just about a week ago now. Okay. I started back school, and uh, we actually went up to Millbridge with Sheldon Creed, one of the other race face drivers, and uh, did a test session with him at Millbridge and the micros. I started out kind of doing the wing stuff and I, you know, Sheldon told me it'd be a little bit easier to do the wing stuff. And we actually took the wing off and it was honestly easier in my opinion in the non-wing car, just from the way I like to drive, I guess you could say. Fair enough. So let's back up a minute. It, was this your first experience period on dirt or just your first experience in, in the micro on dirt? This was 
technically my first real experience. I had done some testing private um previously at Fort City, but that was like kind of it was just a restricted micro and okay. I fast and I got to go up there with Sheldon and run a real car and actually get some real laps and that was uh that was pretty fun. That was probably the most fun I've ever had if we're being honest. I, I was I was gonna say so you know, not not to put one over the other, but I, I see that smile on your face. You you seem to have found something pretty exciting as far as I I know the hope is maybe to be able to uh, to come back up here and, and work with Sheldon on getting you uh, getting you actually in in race conditions at some point. Definitely, I think I I think I could stand another practice or maybe race it like not a as high quality tracking you know, others i think sure. there's rockfish i think it is uh -huh. over yep. up there and uh go race there maybe not race at millbridge because the millbridge competition is definitely the steepest i've ever seen on a micro um but also i've been pretty been pretty avid in eye racing okay being honest and uh, i'm thankful to race epi for you know giving me all the good setups and stuff and they they work with me. We do, you know, practices and stuff. And they uh, taught, taught, taught me a lot about iRacing and how to drive cars on there. It's a lot different than real life, even though people would say that it's the same thing, but it's really not. You, you honestly have to figure out how to drive that versus the other. That's fair. Um, I, I am curious real quick. We've talked about the driving skills for you that it takes to be successful in the pro truck. I'm curious after the test session in the micro, what kind of driving skills were you having to apply differently than the, than the pro truck as you learned that micro to be successful? Yeah. So I would say obviously dirt's a ton different from asphalt because asphalt, you're more of trying to keep the car straight, run really consistent and I think in the micros, honestly, you can not not really run inconsistent, but you don't have to be perfect every lap, and you can run pretty dang good, and you can knock the wall down and do stuff like that, and it's <laughs> it's a lot of fun. I, I was going to say, um, William Sawalich won the Arca Dirt Race over the weekend, and I remember his comment in victory lane was, more throttle equals more turn. I, were, were you kind of feeling some of that, that you were able to gas it more, and, and that was really what worked you through the corners better? Definitely, because if you don't keep that tire spin uh, up, you, you're going to spin out, and it's so bad. It's that's pretty, It's different because it's different from like a lot of other vehicles where – less gas, you're going to not spin out, you're just going to slow down. But in that, you have to keep the wheel spin up. And if you don't keep the wheel spin, you're going to end up spinning out. What was it like being able to uh, just learn from Sheldon a little bit and, and kind of pick his brain for some advice, whether it was on the micro or, or just in general? I imagine that was a pretty cool experience for you. Yeah, definitely. Sheldon's a, a lot better teacher than I thought he was going to be, if we're being honest. I thought Sheldon, <laughs> don't I thought don't Sheldon, let him hear you say that too loudly. I, I thought he was going to be more of the, I'm a race car driver than I, I'm a race car driver and a teacher. But he was actually pretty good. Uh, he relayed some really good info. He uh, knows a lot about the micros. He's pretty, he's pretty dang good up there. He went up, he uh, drove a few laps in one of the other cars he has and, uh, he showed me how to do it a little bit better. Nice. Nice. It all, and I'm sure for you as a young driver, always fun to be able to to lean on somebody that has the kind of experience and has gotten to the NASCAR level like he has. Yeah, definitely. Uh, that's pretty cool because not a lot of people know like a NASCAR driver and they can just go say, hey, can I come run a micro with you? So I'm very grateful that Sheldon let me come do that. A lot of fun. Before we let you go, as always, I know so many people and supporters go into making this happen, Jacob. Sponsor shout outs, thank yous. Who do you need to give a call to? I'd like to thank uh, Four Star Freightliner, Miller Lehman, Swift Springs, American National Insurance, First Choice Painting, and Jack Arce Reynolds. All right, Jacob, always a pleasure to have you on here. I, the smile is not going to go away anytime soon, I know, because you've got two races coming up. We'll look forward to hearing about all that on our next episode. Yes, sir. Thank you. That's Jacob Clayton. My name's Jacob Seelman. This has been another Race Face Drive in 5, and we'll see you next time here on RaceFace.tv, where you can keep it tuned each week for all the latest across the world of motorsports.